hey guys welcome back to another video so it is pretty early in the morning and i had the right idea to get up and just do a little skin care do a little scalp care and um just handle some hygiene maintenance things that i need to get done today especially seeing that i also have a nail appointment so i decided to just get everything in this morning so i was like why not pick up the camera and just share and uh give a little detail of how i go about cleaning my skin cleaning my scalp and those type of things so if you're interested in getting those details stay tuned let's get into it So first things first, you probably see I have this headband and these armbands that I picked up. I think I picked them up online, um, Amazon I believe. They are super handy to get your hair out your face as well as make sure water don't run all the way down your arm when you're doing your skincare routine. So I highly recommend these armbands. Um, I'll try to link them in my storefront for you all. But what you see me doing here is doing a pre-cleanse. I uh, like to do a pre-cleanse first just to kind of get like that base layer of whatever is on my skin. Whether it be makeup or um, just, you know, build up from just, you know, being outside or through the day type situation. So I do a pre-cleanse first. And um, then I go in with my first cleanser. So I use several different products. This particular product um, is one that I'm actually working on skincare products for myself. So this is a sample um, set that I have been working with, trying out different things, seeing what ingredients work together and work, what works best for my skin. So I can't give you a brand on this particular product, um, but if I had to give you one, I would recommend um, Dermalogica. That has that particular line has a really good uh, pre cleanse that I enjoy. But then you see me uh, going in with my cleanser. I like to um, exfoliate uh, probably about three times a week. So, and I use a gentle exfoliant. I know that may sound like a lot, but I use a gentle exfoliant um, to exfoliate my skin, mainly because I have like a combination oily and dry skin. So if you have a lot of oil on your skin, it tends to, you can particularly clog your pores if you deal with a lot of oil, oil in your skin. And I know because I'm pretty, pretty regular with my um, esthetician and I had tons of like blackheads and things like that because I was not uh, exfoliating properly. So that was a hard lesson for me. <laughs> so if you're not exfoliating, definitely you should start if you have um, a lot of blackheads. I had a lot in my T-zone, mainly my nose area. And so that's something I just added to my regimen. But as far as the exfoliator, I use a gentle exfoliator and the brand that I use for that is actually from the Dermalogica line I like to use. I add their exfoliator inside of a cleanser that I use for my skin. And so it really works wonders. I really love how it leaves my skin soft as well as clean. So I actually like to go in and do a cleanse twice. So I do a pre-cleanse and then I do a double, you know, regular cleanse on my skin. This is not necessary, but this is what I tend to like to do on myself, especially when I'm doing an extensive skincare routine. So on a regular day, I would probably just do a pre-cleanse and one cleanse. But today I decided to go in and double cleanse just to make sure I got any um, residue left on my skin. 
if you don't know i am a person that likes to wear makeup probably about three to four times a week it just depends on the week so um i want to make sure that i don't leave any makeup any um residue on my skin before i go in to my next step So far, my skin is already feeling amazing. Um, I like to use just a white washcloth, warm water, just to clean off, you know, my cleanser that I use. Sometimes I use cotton swabs, but most of the time I use a white um, face towel. Um, I like to go in after my cleanser with a toner. And I've been really working on toning my skin, getting um, any type of black marks or specifically I have some marks on my nose that came from my glasses and I actually have uh, noticed a difference from me consistently using my toner so if you're not a person that used toner and you're trying to get rid of some dark spots so definitely add that to your regimen I think it'll make a big difference so after I've cleansed and exfoliated my skin I like to go in with a face mask so I have this charcoal face mask that I use quite often normally when I go into uh, like beauty stores I try to you know stock up on things or mask like this that way I'll have them to be able to use them um, at my leisure I would like to do masks like this on a weekly basis I don't always do that I just have to say I mean I'm trying to be better in that area making time for myself um, but I have to admit I don't do it as much as I'd like to so this mask is so refreshing it's so cool it actually had like a tingling sensation that it uh, gave on my skin so if you're not into masks I think that's something that you should try as well just an added moisture to your skin So normally after about 10 to 15 minutes, I remove my mask. My skin is feeling so good, so fresh and clean. And what I do is just rub in the remainder of that moisturizer that came from the mask. You don't have to rinse it off or wipe it off or anything like that. I just go in and rub it in on my skin. What I like to do after that is go in and add a little bit of moisturizer on my lips and then I go in and add some extra serum and oils to my skin just to give that added glow and moisture to my skin. Now they sell, you know, different moisturizers and oils all over the place, but I tend to like to use like a Vaseline for my lips or either Aquaphor for my lip moisturizer. And then I go in with a uh, either coconut serum for my skin or either an oil that I'm using from my skincare line. So now that I have my skin all fresh and glowing, it is time to tackle this hair and scalp of mine. Um, if you don't know, I have had micro locks for about four years and um, I have truly enjoyed the journey. It started off a little rocky. Um, I started them back in 2020. And um, of course, you know, you go through the challenges of your hair shrinking up and it being short. And then I eventually start loving the short length. And now that it's grown out, I'm like, I miss my short locks now. But um, I've been really enjoying my locks. It's been super convenient for me and I just love the versatility of them so what you see me here is going in with a small toothbrush I'm going in with my uh, cleansing shampoo 
that I uh, use on my scalp on a bi-weekly basis. I like to go in and put it directly on my scalp as well as do a scalp scrub because I have extremely dry scalp. I really have to shampoo my hair at least every seven days, but sometimes I push it and um, extend it past that time. So this is one of those times. So that's why I'm going in to do a scalp scrub with like this detoxing shampoo. And um, I'm gonna get this applied all over my scalp it feels amazing that's why i love to use a firm toothbrush or a some type of edge brush or of that sort to get down in there to scrape up any debris or build up that i have on my scalp with me having dry scalp that's something that i have to do Otherwise, I'm getting questions all the time about my locks and um, people compliment me all the time. And um, I don't really have any regrets. I, I think it was a, a great decision as far as locking my hair. Um, I am one that has tried probably every hairstyle under the sun. And this is the one style that I had never tried. I've had my hair short, natural, relaxed, all different colors, purple. <laughs> pink, blonde, you know, I've had all of the things. And so I was ready to kind of settle in with something uh, with my hair and I chose to do the micro locks. I chose the micro locks over traditional locks because I wanted to have more versatility. I didn't want them to be heavy. I wanted them to be, you know, on the smaller side and me to be able to still be able to wear extensions over them if I wanted to. Um, because prior to getting locks, I was a person that switched my hair up all the time. And I thought I was still going to be doing that with me getting my locks. But surprisingly, I have not wanted to do that. I think when I, my first year I got them, I, I wore a wig one time. And ever since then, I've been settled in on just really embracing my own hair. So you see here, I've gotten my hair all shampooed and fresh and clean and I always love and enjoy when I uh, shampoo my hair it's just so refreshing every time um so what I normally do is something simple I have a really simple routine I just go in with my uh, HE essential five-in-one leave-in conditioner I go on with that I mess my hair all over with that and then I use the herbal hair oil to add that oil all over my scalp and I actually have like a mic microfiber um, head wrap that I use I wring all the water out and I normally go in with my microfiber head wrap to help um, absorb any extra water that's in there and then I let it air dry I like to let my locks air dry I don't use heat um, unless I just have to have or go somewhere or something like that I'll try to you know dry it really quick with a blow dryer or a hooded blow dryer or a hooded dryer I mean but otherwise that is my hair routine when I do like my uh, deep cleanse on my scalp so of course per usual if you all have any questions about anything that I've talked about uh, during this video or process you can leave them in the comments and I am um, excited to answer any of your hair questions because uh, if you don't know, I'm a, I'm a hairstylist as well. I've been a hairstylist for 18 years now. So I know uh, quite a bit about hair. And if I don't know, I can find out for you. So I'm going to get this massage in and then we're going to move on to the next part of my day.
So the last thing I had to get done today is get my nails done. I normally get my nails done every three weeks. I get my nails done every three weeks and I get my gel um, toes done every six weeks. And so that's how I keep up my um, manicure pedicure routine. Uh, I have a standing appointment with my manicurist and um, I spoke about it before. You know how everybody has that thing that they like to do. My thing just so happened to be getting my nails done. So um, that's something I do for me every month and I really truly enjoy it. I know some people don't like to go to the nail salon, but I like to go to my, uh, my girl Raina because it's an appointment based nail salon as well as it's normally one-on-one -on -one, so we get to talk it up and just have a good time but um i chose to do something a little colorful today um i originally was going to do like a black and white or a neutral look but i was excited to try this color i think it turned out really pretty let me know what you think about it um i actually showed her a picture i think i'll try to pop that picture in but honey she doesn't miss Anything you show Raina, she can duplicate it. So that's why I love her. And um, so here's my nails. What's up y'all? Just popping in to close out this video. Today has been a full day. I started off just kind of pampering myself, doing a little hygiene, little self-care. And then I ended the day with um, getting my nails done. I thought I was going to be able to go get a massage today, but the time did not work out. So I had to push that off to another day. But I just wanted to come and show you my nails personally. I absolutely love them i was going to do something just kind of black and white what i consider a neutral but i decided to get something with a little pop of color something a little fun um that's how i was feeling when i got there which i was actually considering getting something with a little color something fun anyway and then i was going to just play it safe but i was like nah let me just do something fun it's spring it's color um season so that's what i did so i got something fun on my nails and i truly truly love them they're so unique and so different something new on every nail love that um so yeah that's what i did today hopefully y'all enjoy coming along with me spending some time with me today while i kind of go through my routine of when i do my skincare and take care of my um hair and such so i love and appreciate you and i will see you in the next one bye y'all